Good morning. Welcome to Slim Chat. It's Tracy and hello to all my new subscribers. Woo woo! If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So yeah, hi. Hi. I'm not, by the way. I just obviously a bit. Anywho, um, I survived the CT scan yesterday. Survived it. Wasn't as hard as I thought. Wasn't as bad as I thought. It wasn't a tunnel though. The next one tomorrow is the tunnel. So that's the one where I worry about the zombie apocalypse happening and I'll be stuck in the tunnel. This one I would have escaped easy. I wasn't even strapped down, you know, just lay in there with a cannula though. That's the only thing. So I would have had to have yanked that out. And then all those zombies would have smelled blood. So perhaps it was a good thing it didn't happen, but then, you know, well, not perhaps, obviously it's a good thing it didn't happen, but you know, tomorrow's one is the tunnel, which is the more worrying. Kettle of fish, I'm sure I'll survive. I have had one before, but it was only for about 10 minutes, I think. And I was much, much younger. Um, it was when I first developed tinnitus. Ah, that's so long ago now. I only have tinnitus in my left ear. But um, when I first got that, they wanted to make sure I didn't have a brain tumor. So um, I had one then, but it was very sh like short. I didn't have a very big one. And I don't think I had any cannula, so there's no contrast. But I think this one there will be, because they use, uh, I know they couldn't have them at the same time, because it was deemed that they use different contrasts. So I could have actually had the whole thing in the one, but never mind, didn't happen. Couldn't do it. So yes, this channel has joined in with the Christmas in July fairies. Can you believe it? And I also have on Rocksteady. So, you know, I'm not sure if I mentioned the rules. <laughs> I was kind of a bit spun yesterday. I suppose I should have done it today. I would have been a bit better, wouldn't I? Really, never mind. It's lovely and sunny today, but I don't think it will last. Forecasts was for rain for days and days. We've had a, I think we had a whole couple of days in one night at one point. But it's not too bad at the, at the moment. The grass is wet, so Gary's out there weeding and fiddling with his membrane, which sounds bad, but it's just laying down a, a membrane to stop weeds. Um, and you never know, might actually get to be able to sit out there again soon. We had one day, <laughs> one day where we could get out the garden where we didn't have rain and monsoons. I am determined that one of these days I'll get to record out there again last year was just we were so spoiled because we had summer come early it was like early spring and we had warm weather and it just went all the way through very very little overcast and rain just and I suppose in some ways that was good for lockdown unless you happen to live in a horrible little flat where it was like you know a 20 something floor and you were housebound and no balcony or anything in couldn't get out that was purgatory I have to say but you know for for the rest of us you know we had the time on our hands the garden the sun and everything else and you know but this year is more normal for England unfortunately wet miserable at times bit windy humid you know the joys of so our football team did really well the other day England in the Euros so that's cool and we've got a Wimbledon star that's 18 years old beating people who are seeded so much ahead of her and that's that's cool so she's doing well makes you wonder doesn't it I mean that whole year where nobody could really play tennis or practice where'd that come from I think you know football teams carried on though didn't they so my movie quote of the day yesterday it was indeed no, it wasn't that one. Where are we? Put it in the wrong place. <laughs> the greatest teacher failure is. Was indeed Yoda. And um, Linda Fairbrother, Linnell and Ann Cooper all got that right. Well done, well done, well done. So today's... Where is it? I might have to find it. Hang on a sec. Um... Okay, try and do this one. 
small worlds from a small being trying to attack that it doesn't understand. <laughs> I'm trying to put on her small words from a small being trying to attack what it doesn't understand. So that's small words from a small being trying to attack what it doesn't understand. So I need what movie that was and who said it, like the character. So that's that one. I love that movie. I love that movie and I love the whole... Um, it was also, I'll give you a clue then. It was all, because it isn't an easy-ish one really. It was also a very, 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 very famous uh, TV show that has been, well, in various guises for, well, I'd say since the 60s, maybe, 70s, and has a massive cult following. So there we go, nice big, chunky clue for you but small words <laughs> I'm trying to do it with like a very shiny face that would be better I'd have to shave my hair off there's just so you know you only go so far for acting or even to like recreate it so that wasn't going to happen was it so yes cancer treatments and hair loss so I did worry about that you know I mean I've just had a massive long chunk chunk cut off. I don't think she went far enough because it's still a bit fuzzy, these bits here. So um, I think it should have gone shorter, but she said it was fine. And I figured, you know, as I keep getting it cut, it will get rid of that bit. So, yeah, I did worry about that. But they said to me that with the kind of, if you do actually need um, radiotherapy and chemotherapy, if it's that, you know, I, it's not a a given yet that until I know what I'm facing um, the the drug they use tends to not make your hair fall out so you never know might get to keep it if not I'm buying a rainbow wig or several several wigs I've got plenty of heads to store them on so um, if that should happen you'll see me with lots of different hair um, and I can get some real fun ones you know so we'll see what happens. Now, don't everybody go wishing. We, <laughs> I, kind of, I can still do it if I don't, you know. So, yeah. Anyway, I have to say a big, big, big thank you to everybody who's sending me lots of well wishes and prayers and good good thoughts and vibes and advice and, a lo and, and stories. And people are telling me their stories, which I absolutely love to hear because, you know, it makes you realise there's hope and great stuff thank you so much so if you haven't already don't forget to find my christmas in july fairies for this channel and also for rock steady because it doesn't have to be yarny related so it can be something to do with this channel or something to do with rock steady so yeah don't forget to watch them in their entirety i didn't do the funny bit about that because not everybody knows it so Anyway, I'm going to get off, upload this, go help Gary in the garden. I feel like I've forgotten to tell you something, but, you know, I have forgotten it. Oh, excuse me. Perhaps that's still the effect of the contrast. I honestly feel so tired. I don't know how long it stays in your system for, but I definitely need to go out there and drink some more water. I think I was going to be asleep all day. So thank you for watching. Stay safe. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow and with another exciting movie quote. Bye for now, everyone.